Netflix did it. Netflix dropped it. I can't even believe this is a thing. We all remember a few weeks ago, this poster dropped and there was all this backlash and there was like, ooh, sorry. And it was, oh, this was, you know, misrepresented, mismarketed. Here's my favorite one. Accidentally sexualizes kid in the poster, but not the movie. And of course, we have to throw it into the toxic fans and misunderstanding fans that sent death threats to the director. They're the problem. You're the problem. Well, now that it's dropped, people have let us know some of the content and it is sick. I'm not going to show any of that filth on here. I think you can tell from the positions just how deranged it is. And the fact that Netflix is pushing this and is okay with this is absurd. Someone does need to go to jail for this. This is insane. This is mainstream platform marketed and approved pedophilia I I know we're not supposed to say that word but that is exactly what this is I can't even believe this is a thing you look at the descriptions of some of these scenes I couldn't even I I started one of the clips and I had to shut it off and then people want to say that oh you just don't understand or the content no no there is no context that makes this better this is absolutely deplorable this is when you would use that word this right here is filth it's trash it's disgusting this one scene was the one i clicked on and i couldn't finish it they start twerking in front of one of them starts twerking in front of the guy one is actually into it and the other one is like dude come on and now just a couple days ago right before it dropped it's now a target for right wing campaign Because only right-wing people apparently have a problem with this and it's a big conspiracy and the conservatives are like, no, and everybody's like, at this paper was like, yeah, that's fine. This is the New Yorker for the love of God. And no, they're totally good with this title. And they go into this breeze making it sound like, oh, this is great. This is fantastic. It's just been misrepresented and the poster didn't do it justice. And what it's really about isn't the sexualization or pedophilia it's about the you're gonna love this highlighting that it's about poor and non-white children who are deprived of resources education and emotional emotional support of open family discussion are you freaking kidding me right now it's the family's problem it's the conservative view it's a right-wing target absolutely ridiculous and of course we have to throw in the patriarchy so now we've got the racism and we've got the patriarchy super evil and you know what that nuclear family is just it's not cutting it and if you go to the trailer the official trailer of cuties at last i looked it was at 1.5 million down votes there are people in there defending this They're like, it's just dancing. I don't see the big problem. Um, it is a huge problem. This is absolutely insane. It's asinine. And now you've got people on Twitter who are, and Facebook, and everywhere else who are saying that I don't support, I've never supported boycotts. I've never canceled over stuff like this. I'm canceling my Netflix. I am canceling. I canceled my Netflix the second this news hit, and I'm so glad that I did. I can't even imagine my money went to help support the creation of this. The the tweets hit it so perfectly. It is promoting pedophilia and child porn. Like it's other words that we're not allowed to say on YouTube. We can't even say these things on YouTube. But Netflix can stream it right into your living room. Just bloop, let's just drop it right in there. All of this debauchery, this evil everything like that. It's insane that there is going to be an acceptance and a defense for this. And when people are like, oh, it's ticking off all the right people, you have to wonder what is going on in these other people's heads. I can't even imagine being on the defensive for this film. It is nothing but a pedophile fantasy Nobody is going to watch this except sick, depraved people, and of course the critics, because they have to shill for it. They have to be like, oh, it's it's a right-wing conspiracy. It's a lie. It, this has been, you know, a wonderful film, and it's a coming-of-age film. They have literally compared this film to films such as The Goonies and Sandlot. You tell me. You tell me where in there anything close to what is being shown 
in Cuties is in any of those films. I dare you. I dare you. You won't. You won't. Because we are, Netflix is pushing the envelope on sexualizing, sexualizing children and making it normal. And it's disgusting. And it needs to end. Cancel your Netflix subscription because it's insane. Even people who were against it to begin with, this uh, individual right here admits that she had to blur out the sexual parts of the kids before she could show it because she knows there's lots of pedos out there. But now all of a sudden she's changed her tomb. I still had concerns about the film. I still have the same concerns about the film, but not because of how many people react to sexual imagery of minors. What, you mean outrage, disgust, terrified? Those are all normal reactions. This is being pushed on a mainstream platform and for anybody to come out and try and defend this nonsense is absolutely insane. Netflix needs to be nixed. We need to nix Netflix. It needs to go under. Cuties needs to capsize this thing because Netflix has, th there's no film worth it. The Witcher's not worth it. None of the other kid programming is worth it that, you know, you can put your little ones down to watch. None of it. I recommend everybody go over to change.org or just type in Cuties Petition to take off Netflix. It will pop right up. Cancel your Netflix. Get out of this nonsense, even if you don't have kids. You cannot tell me that you don't see this as wrong. I hope you all have a great day, even though this is just disgusting news.